Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today we're carrying on with the command block vanilla service um, tutorial last time we did the join mechanism for when for players first join the game but now we need to make sure um, that if they join for a second time they still teleport to that area this is useful for um, say you're running a mini game server in vanilla it's useful to make sure they always spawn in the right place and they don't spawn in the middle of the minigame so in order to do this we need some scoreboards scoreboards are basically they track things that the player does so um, scoreboard objectives um, add so this adds a new objective and we'll call it join dummy um, wait not a dummy we need to remove that we want to make it stat dot leave game so basically, um, a stat dot leave game is if you go into um, statistics, games quit three. Um, it's every time you leave the game, it adds um, one to that. So it will add one to your join score as well every time you leave. So what we want to do is, when you join the game, we want to set your score of join. So scoreboard players players set at a with a radius of 30 just so it's not everyone uh, join to one um, this is useful for when we test for uh, new players um, not new players old players so if we add another command block to this redstone clock here which is just um, redstone clock is just basically uh, redstone basically powered being being powered really fast um, and now, if we put down another command block next to it, so it's constantly powered, if we do test for at a with a score underscore join underscore min equals two. So that's basically every time uh, someone leaves and has and rejoins, their score will be two because their score has been set to one when they first join. So when a player joins after already you've joined before it will come down here and we basically want to do the same things here but obviously different text like welcome back um, has joined the server for the first time we just need to tell raw them let's just do a simple tell raw at a score underscore join underscore min equals two this score underscore join underscore min equals two it's basically everyone with a score of join um, that's a minimum of two. So if your score of join is ten, this will still um, count as you. So if we do slash user a seven nine join, and then we'll make it gold. Welcome back. And now, once we've done that, it will just it will tell them it. Um, and th this is also the chance to do anything else you want to tell new players, such as the rules again, um, just in case um, you just want to make sure that they know the rules. So if we do this again, join underscore min equals 2. And then finally, we just add to the redstone repeater and TP them again. If you want to know how to copy a command block, um, to just copy a normal block, you just middle click with the scroll wheel, and that copies it. But if you copy it normally, um, middle clicking, it doesn't do anything. It's just an empty command block. But if you hold down Control and then middle click, it copies what's the command inside of the command block, which is very useful if you want to use the same command more than once. So now we just change this to score and score join underscore min equals two so now that TPs them and if we if I quickly set my scoreboard players set game motion join one so now my score will join is one what this command is does is um, players just tells the game that you're trying to select players set obviously sets your score and um, then your name and then join which is the objective and then the amount you want to set it to you can also add remove and I think that's it add and remove and set so 
I've just set my score to 1, so if I do scoreboard, objective, set display, sidebar, join. So now I can see that my score will join as 1. If I set to cool cow, who is also on the server right now, he's now appeared on the side as well. Um, if I uh, reset, I think there's reset, join, there we go, now he's no longer on the sidebar. But if I set my join to 2, you see, it then teleports us, says, welcome back, rules, no spamming, no grieving. Obviously, you'll add more. But now, as you see, our score's still 2, even though we've joined, and it will always be 2. But if I add 1 to 3, nothing else happens. If I go back to 1, now it works. So what we would need to do here is scoreboard players set at A with a score of join, it's gone min equals 2, join, we need to set it back to 1. So if I, uh, let's just do add, add 1, so now I'm 2, wait no, I'm back to 1, oh silly me, it needs to teleport you then, there we go, now it works. You need to make sure that it does everything, this is this has to be the last thing, and um, it's different to this system when they're first joining, the teleport's the last thing, but now because it's all reliant on uh, their score, you need to reset the score last. And like I said before, the middle block, so that would be this block, is powered before the top block, or the sides, or here. So if this middle block's powered, all of these blocks around it and underneath that block there, they're all powered at the same time. However, the middle block, because that's directly linked to the redstone, that's going to be the first block powered. So that's quite useful if you want to make sure something happens before something else. So I think that's it for this video. The next video will be setting up ranks for your server. So you can show all the users who's the owner, who's admins, who's builders, and members, and so on. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.